Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Um, what I want to do is I want to, uh, I don't, I don't do reviews, but uh, there is certain things that, um, certain tools that are uh, useful for certain things. And um, I've had a lot of people uh, from the city have been uh, asking me, well, what kind of stuff we're going to need, stuff like that. So uh, what I thought was uh, right here, let's see if we got it right there, is, uh, you know, I'm in the tomahawks. Well, this really isn't a tomahawk. Let me see if we can get this, show you to you. Okay, it's a, um, it's an axe or it's a uh, tomahawk type of thing, whatever it is. But uh, see, it's made by by those people right there, and uh, it. I uh, see the spike on the end. That's why I got this. I got it for the spike, and I got it so I could use it for opening things. And uh, what people were talking about in the city. If you're in the city, I think this might be a useful tool. Uh, like I say, if you can find a, a crack, okay, like see right there, you can find a crack, uh, then you, you, you bang it inside the crack and you can pry things open. That's why I got this thing. Uh, you can use it for uh, uh, same thing on uh, uh, car doors, uh, locks, um, you just bang that uh, bang the spike in there and then you can you can tear it all up and you can chop through doors uh, if they're steel doors like say you use the spike and pry them open so uh, that's the main reason uh, why I even bought this thing uh, it's let's see you can see here there's my tomahawk and you see the length already tells you there's a difference and uh, it's the length and you see the head is smaller the head is smaller and this is lighter and like I say I'm more for combat uh, you might be able to use it for camping uh, but really it's not really, it's not really good for chopping not really not for me I wouldn't I wouldn't use it I'd rather use a regular axe but if I had to have something uh, we're talking about uh, bugging out or something like that I would want this uh, in the way of uh, a tool to be uh, uh, bugging out with. Machete would really work really well, but if you're going to fight, this is be kind of a good thing. Because like I say you can you can uh, break things, but that that's a whole other kind of thing, a whole other kind of video. Uh, but uh, what I wanted to bring to your attention was the spike. Now I'm thinking about getting another one of these. This brand, uh, this is Cold Steel and get it with a spike and try it i'm just thinking about it but like i say i'm not into the the city stuff you know even when i'm here in the united states uh i mean we're out in the country i mean this is we're country living here it, it really is there's uh the houses around here run on uh five acre five acre spots and some of them even bigger than that so um we don't have houses that's right pushed up against each other and like i say everybody i think about everybody's got something they're either growing something or raising something uh so uh now see something like that with the spike on it isn't even much use for us um uh, out here i i did use this thing to uh i chopped down a tree we had a tree over here that we didn't need to get rid of there's a little tree maybe six or eight inches and uh I used it for that, and it did a good job for chopping for an axe. This will work for an axe. Uh, you can also get these things instead of a spike, you can get it with a hammer on the end. But like I say it's a whole lot heavier than the cold steel one. So um, yeah, it, this one is its main use is a, a tool, a camping tool, or chopping and and doing stuff like that. Uh, I say the. You can see this just the there's a whole lot of weight i was going to weigh them and get the weight different difference on there but uh this one's i don't know how many ounces uh less but when you start swinging it around this is really a lot easier to swing it's a lot faster too so uh it just depends on what it is that you're going to be using it for and that's what i'm saying the spike 
is a, a good tool for opening doors uh, and you know just busting your way through things uh, so um, that's something you might want to consider if you're in the city uh, I don't know if the machete would be that big of a priority out here in the country I would rather have the machete than uh, the tomahawk or that, that axe and all that kind of stuff and opening stuff isn't no big deal out here in the country you know so uh, the the spike really doesn't have that much use in the way of uh, uh, country use but uh, it is something that you might want to consider if you're in the city and uh, like I say don't forget some gloves you need to have some gloves too when you're going to start if you're going to need to use that axe start breaking your way into places you're going to be needing gloves uh, some good leather gloves because there's going to be broken glass you're going to have to be messing with broken glass and stuff like that so uh, make sure you have the uh, the gloves but anyway it was just a little something I wanted to pitch in and the reason another thing is uh, I'm fixing to go back to the Central America and I'm not going to take that axe like I say that that with the point on it's not going to do me no good down there at all I'd much rather have a fighting uh, tomahawk than than one for chopping and this type of stuff so uh, but that's why I thought I better make this video before I go just Mike no stress Mike dot com